In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new workflow triggers and actions for the documents and contracts feature. That means if the status of a document changes, for example, it's been sent or it's been viewed but not signed, it will allow you to update opportunity tags, send an invoice or attach tags to contacts, or maintain any record through actions like Google Sheets or Slack after the document has been sent or seen by one of the recipients or has been completed by all of the recipients. You're now able to filter the trigger based on conditions like document status, value, template or recipient type. So the most common use case here could be to trigger a sequence based on the document status. Let me show you how to do that. So first you want to go to automation and workflows, create a new workflow, start from scratch, select your trigger, type documents under payments, you'll find a new trigger documents and contracts. Here you can add the filter, select the filter, select template. If the template is, is empty, is not, is not empty, let's select is. And here you can select the template. Please note in order to select the template right here, you will have to have created a template under payments, documents and contracts, and then templates. Simply create a new template by hitting the plus new icon. All right, since we have created a template, we select our template and we can select more filters. Another new filter is recipient type. Recipient type is either you as the business owner or the contact who receives that document. Let's select contact for now and let's add another filter. Let's select status is now here you can select between completed, sent, signed, accepted or viewed. Completed means the workflow gets triggered when the document has been signed by all parties. Let's say you're sending an NDA agreement and both parties have signed that document. This workflow would be triggered. Send means simply the workflow gets triggered if the document has been marked as sent by the business. Viewed means the workflow gets triggered if the document has been viewed by anyone apart from the business owner who sent it. And signed and accepted means the workflow gets triggered if the document has been signed by one of the recipients of the document. This can be very useful if there's multiple recipients within the document and the business who sent the document needs to keep track of who's signed the document and who hasn't just yet. Another cool thing is here you can also use the if or else condition. Let's say the first branch is sent. Select documents here. Status is sent. Add another branch. Name it signed. Documents and contracts. Status is signed. Add another branch. Name it completed, for example. Documents and contracts. Status is completed. Add another branch. Name it viewed. Status is viewed. Hit save action. And here you can see all the different scenarios. You can also use internal notifications as well as external emails using that trigger. You can not only use the contact, but also custom values within that workflow. I will see you in the next video.